For as great as the Raiders are on the offensive side of the ball, the one thing that could potentially hold them back from winning a Super Bowl is their defense. Maybe their interior defensive line, maybe their secondary. But one thing's clear, the Raiders offense will not be the issue this year. If the Raiders don't win a Super Bowl, chances are you can probably point to something along the defense. And the Raiders know it, and they're looking to fix it. Because according to Brad Stainbrook, the Las Vegas Raiders are one of two teams that are 100% committed to Indomitian Su. In fact, Brad wrote that Bucks and Raiders still in on defensive tackle Indomitian Su. Talks are ongoing with Las Vegas, while Tampa Bay will let all the options die down first. Browns have backed off. Now, what's interesting about this entire situation is the fact that because the Browns have backed off and the fact that the Buccaneers will allow Su to take in his options, take in everything that's brought to him that means the only team that's currently interested in sue at least the only public team right now is the las vegas raiders and we are one day away from the june 1st cuts officially giving the raiders some cap and what's crazy is the raiders unlike a lot of other teams are getting a lot of cap you know most teams get five six seven million dollars the raiders are getting almost 26 million dollars in cap space literally tomorrow they will have that cap space to spend, and they can spend it on whoever they want. And Sue may be a great option for the Raiders. Maybe he costs $5 million, maybe he costs $6 million. But the thing with Sue is over the course of his career, he's always been productive. He's always been a guy that can get after the quarterback, get stops against the run, dominate the guys lined up across from him, and he's very consistent. He's only missed two games over the past five years, which you can't say for a lot of players. And in my opinion, Nadama Kong Su not only provides a consistent football player, he doesn't only provide a new player for Patrick Graham to use, but he provides a three-down player for the Raiders. And that doesn't mean he has to start and play the entire game, but he can come in and play six to seven snaps at a time. He can come in and really help the Raiders get better. You know, Max Crosby is going to get double team, right? Right tackle, right guard may slide over to Max Crosby. And then Chandler Jones on the opposite end will get chipped with a running back or a tight end. So essentially, you're going to double team those two defensive ends. Are the Raiders' interior pass rushers good enough? Jonathan Hankins, Baleo Nichols, Vernon Butler. Maybe it's the rookie Matthew Butler or uh, Neil Farrell Jr. But are those guys good enough to win at the point of attack on the inside? Are those guys going to be able to provide consistent pressure against the top guards? You know, it's one thing when you when you play the Jags, but when you're playing the Buccaneers and you're taking on some of the best offense linemen in the league, are your interior guys able to generate pressure? I think Indomitian soon gives the Raiders a guy that can that bring pressure. You know, it's different if, if Matthew Butler ends up being a good pass rusher. He's not as good against the run. You know, he's kind of that Maurice Hurst type of player. It's different when it's third and, and 12, right? You know it's going to be a throw, but when it's first and 10, you don't really know, right? So you need a guy that could not only defend the run, but he can get after the quarterback. And I think Sue would bring that for the Raiders. Of course, I think the cost is going to make a big difference of if the Raiders bring him in or not. If Sue wants $15 million, the Raiders aren't paying him. And I'm sure he doesn't want 15. But even if he wants something like $8 million, I think the Raiders would hesitate on bringing him in. A, a couple other options for the Raiders in the interior defensive line is a guy like Gerald McCoy, who could be a really solid option for the Raiders. Obviously, he was here last year, didn't work out. He ended up getting hurt. And if it's not a guy like Gerald McCoy, maybe it's a guy like Akeem Hicks, a guy that's been very consistent over the course of his career, a guy that can absolutely be a every down player. Yes, he's up there in age as there's Gerald McCoy and Sue, but they're all great football players, or at least they were in the past. And when you look at when you look at defensive linemen, age doesn't matter as much, right? I remember Richard Seymour coming to the Raiders and he was up there in age, although he wasn't as old, uh, but he was still a dominant player at 30 and 31 years old. Like Richard Seymour was one of the best defensive linemen I've ever watched on the Las Vegas Raiders or, or at the time, Oakland Raiders. And I think a guy like Gerald McCoy or Akeem Hicks could also provide that. And if you want to stay a little bit younger, maybe a guy like Darius Phylon may, may make a little bit more sense, right? Phylon was with the Raiders last year. He had some success, obviously an injury kind of uh, derailed his season. But if he's healthy, maybe he's another option you can bring in. 
And if you want to stay away from the defensive line position, maybe you bring in a right tackle, Darrell Williams, or a safety, or a cornerback to provide a little bit more depth. Either way, there's a lot that the Raiders can do, and I'm excited. I'm pumped up. I think there's a lot of changes still to come, a lot of players to still bring in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. It's going to be very interesting. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.